Welcome one and all, Best Tech Knives. We got the free fall here uh, today and I got this from Eric Outer uh, and he is the Best Tech uh, rep in the USA. So he sent me a couple of knives to uh, look over and pass on. And this one is called the Free Fall. It's S35VN blade. It's a small knife. It's about six and a half inches overall length. Let me just do some quick uh, measuring on here. Yeah, two and three quarter inch blade, uh, 6.4 something overall length in inches, under 16 and a half centimeters, and around about, you know, 70 millimeter blade length, 72 if you want to call it that. Uh, when I got this, and it comes in this box, by the way, it says free fall on this side. It's the BT2007, C is in Charlie, probably because of the color of the you know, carbon fiber orange mix on there. And it has an inner zipper pouch with some paperwork and that kind of thing. So it's got a pouch on both sides. It's, I mean, a little pocket on both sides in this pouch. And uh, good solid box. I like their boxes a lot. But, and you know, I'll, I'll see if I can put down here the name of the designer. But I, I couldn't find it. I, I scoured the Best Tech Instagram sites uh, and the internet and couldn't find anything about who this maker mark is. Uh, but, the, I mean, you can get... As amazing as it may seem, you can buy this knife on White Mountain Knives. 225 bucks. Just remember, LTK is your discount code for 10% off. So that'll take $22.5 off. So it'll get you really close to 200 even. Orange carbon fiber, blah, blah, blah. And here's your specs. 6.42 inch. You know, close length, 3.78 2.65 blade, S35VN in satin finish, black slash orange, uh, G10 handle. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not overly impressed with that mix particularly, but it's very subtle. I mean, nothing really wrong with that. You got titanium bolsters, and basically this is a liner lock which is nice because you've got a balanced look from the front and the back of the knife okay that's nice okay nothing wrong with that look at the pocket clip now i don't think that's reversible because i don't see any cutaway in here we will take this apart although i'm not sure if i should take this apart because it's just a pass through uh but I, I think it will anyhow. Heck with it. Um, titanium backspacer. That kind of thing. Should be ceramic bearings inside. And this flipper tab. Which uh, I guess you can kick it open with the underside. And kind of like a guard here. Blade guard. You can climb up on here. And uh, get close in for some close in cutting if you're so inclined to do and yeah i mean it's reasonably sharp right out of the box very small knife let's put it on the scale and then uh i'll commence to talking about what i really think about it 79.4 grams let's roll around to ounces 2.8 ounces not much, not much there. Well, what do we got? Another little small knife. Well, here's okay. Here's my PM3, which is gonna seem big compared to it, isn't it? It seems like a monster. So don't even get, don't even get my Vexor out here. There's a knife for you. And uh, yeah, Oof. so this is definitely small, under three ounces. But one thing kind of caught me about this is that 
it seemed like, and let's do the blade stock here real quick. Yeah, three millimeter blade stock. Let me quit rolling around here. Okay, three millimeter blade stock at 0.12. Now let's come across these because you can see how wavy these scales are. But catch the tops of them. 0 0.53 at 13.7. But at three millimeter blade, 0 0.53 just, it seems fat. I mean, this seems fat here and slender here. It also seems like mm, at first glance, and maybe not so much after a while, but that blade to handle length seems a little disproportionate, but it's not, and it's centered, and I've got no blade play or lock rock, any of that. Mm, yeah, plunge is symmetrical. I mean, it, it looks fine, and it's got, let's kick this back around. And it's got jimping on top of the flipper tab, a little cutaway here for your finger to land on when you flip it open, right? And reasonable drop considering I haven't been into it and it's probably fairly new. So yeah, not bad. Although, uh, and the design, yes. Does it flow? Yeah, I think it does. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my knife. I don't know. I, I look at the total layout of this knife and I'm not sure I'm all up into this and this in a small knife. In a little, you know, under six and a half in overall inches knife. Uh, I want to be a little closer to that blade. Maybe move this a little closer. Maybe you don't need a forward choil because your blade's so small. And, you know, short, they, you could have moved all this forward and got up here to where you could get your fourth finger on there because the way I am here, I really don't have room for that fourth finger. So it's kind of a three-finger knife. And, you know, as far as two and a quarter goes, there's just a lot of competition out there. And this knife does not speak to me. Now, if it speaks to you, that's fine. I, I can't tell you that it's not a good quality materials or workmanship. Oh, yeah. But uh, otherwise, yeah, no, nah, I'm just not feeling this one. So, detent on it, it's it's reasonably light. Uh, let me see if I can... No, nah, can't do it like that. I can do it like that, though. I'd say about a four and a half on my detent scale at best. You know, it's got this little area here where I guess if you wanted to, you could get like this for some fine work. Uh, but it just seems, I mean, if, if you're trying to make this a gent carry, you really make, you need to make it more slender, I think. I mean, you know, what? what is this? Uh, this is uh, 11 and a half at 0.45. And this is, you know, 0.55. Okay, so at 14 millimeters. That's just, you know, that that's a fatty. And this is way bigger. I mean, even something, if you want to get smaller, like the little CJRB, my Leah. You know, I mean, this one lets you get up close. You still got three fingers, uh, you know, and this is, this is light as well. So, but of course, you know, this is like 35 bucks, something like that. So, um, uh, and this is probably half the price of this, you know, I mean, even the way that is. So yikes. Uh, let me see. Here's my dragonfly. Are we getting closer? Yeah, you know, dragonfly is much smaller, much smaller, but fairly thin, easy in the pocket, disappears. See, I, I just don't see this disappearing in your pocket with as thick as it is. And I don't know that they needed the liners to be that thick. They could bring it all in. Um, not sure about the wave pattern on the scales either, if it really means anything to me. I, I don't think it adds in grip or comfort necessarily. So, there's that.
Well, this one's a mystery because this is all buttoned up with uh, number sixes. So let's just start at zero and go in because uh, I don't know which side is or what's going on underneath these scales. So let's just take them off and see where we are. There's the bolster area. Okay, we got a pivot under there. Okay. So, uh, I guess continue on, my friends. And there we go with that. If you want to look underneath, that's what we have underneath here. And we have more screws, even more. Well, we got the pivot here. Okay, so we got a pivot screw. And then we've got more screws. Then we've got more number sixes. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six screws plus the pivot. There's seven. Well, let I me mean, get your money's worth of hardware, I guess. I always thought less is more, but. And I just uh, didn't quite. Get this one disconnected here. Okay, we done? Okay, now we're done. Okay, now we got these little screws, and I'm going to leave them alone in a titanium liner here. And we can always check that. Yeah, there's, there's no magnetism there. Or on... No, that's all titanium. Just to double check, but there... So, this is all skeletonized for weight relieving purposes. And here we have uh, bearings. Hmm. But we have a washer right up against the scale there. And then the bearings underneath. And then you can see it's skeletonized on the other side. There's your blade stop, etc. So let's just leave it alone. Um, let's see. Oh, we do have a D shaped pivot there. So is there something lining up with it there? No. Hmm. And this just covers from the outside. So maybe the D shape goes all the way through through here and uh, catches on this one on this scale I mean on this liner uh, ceramic detent ball ceramic bearings over travel stop on the hardened steel insert etc etc but no I'm not gonna unscrew 20 more <laughs> screws there um, so no uh, I just wanted to kind of take a look see and of course there's your your blade stop, uh, travel, all that kind of stuff. And why we're putting the bearing. That just seems um, counter to what I would think. I, I'm going to leave it alone, but I would put the steel washer against the titanium and then the bearings against the steel blade. Nespa? I mean, doesn't that make sense to you? Because that's what I'm thinking. So, no, they didn't do that. And as you saw me take it apart, that's the way it was. So I'm going to leave it alone and try not to do it upside down here. Come on, man. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, hmm. Yikes. Okay. Next person up can uh, reverse that if they want. I'm not going to mess with it because this is factory and this is a loner. So if it was mine, 
I'd turn all that around because those uh, washers don't seem like they're in the right place as far as I'm concerned. And let's, uh, oh baby, we got little tiny screws. Um, yeah, I don't like a lot of little fiddly screws. And uh, also these little number sixes, you know, and even if you have a hardened steel bit driver, um, you know, these will roll over uh, these little tines easier than a number eight will so you, you just put yourself at more risk for screwing up something in the hardware section uh, of these knives number eight sure easier to work with and it's very doable so okay um but they're still playing with the number six routine which is not my cup of tea and let's throw down at least one of these Put you in the hole, man. Come on, come on. Get you in there. And not all the way, but just enough. And let's throw this on top. Yeah, I just need to know that I... Yeah, and that's another thing. You got to adjust your pivot before you can put that bolster on. Yeah, hell with it. Hold on. Yeah. Wasn't thinking about that right away. That's just one of those things. It's just so automatic that I can adjust the pivot from the outside. But in this case, no. The pivot is hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and install the second scale screw here. And I'm going to tighten these down. Okay. It does look centered. Um... I just want to make sure I don't have too much. And I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Okay, I don't want to get crazy on it, but I don't want to get too loose. That seems... No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Um, where am I? Yeah, I'm right there. That is correct. Wow. Wow. Now, if I can see through the camera. And drop. Little tiny screws. Yeah, get to some place secure when you want to do a disassembly of something like this. Because you got so many tiny little screws. You don't want to lose one on the floor. Okay, now it's back together and we're fine. And the drop is is fine maybe a little bit better than it was out of the box but uh free fall well not exactly free falling is it small knife kind of fat a lot of hardware mm, just there's just so many things about it that just don't appeal to me in a way and, you know, I mean, I've got a lot of best tech knives that I really like. You know, I've got the Swordfish, the Komodo's fairly new, and that really is attractive to me. Um, actually, the Mako I really like as well. Uh, and, oh, well, the Paladin, which is a favorite of mine. Really sensible, great knife. Uh better action too and hornet so i mean yeah i there's a lot of them that i really really like and apparently i'm kind of i gravitate to the g10 series so uh but it's not like they haven't done some really great and they have uh some great titanium knives the casta is one that just comes to mind immediately but this one now I'm not feeling it. Have a good one. And you know what we do? We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.